Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here. I hope you have enjoyed time spent uh, on this channel together on the previous tutorials and today I've got another exciting one for you uh, which is going to be a kind of 3D look, uh, kind of mosaic look, you can have a wee preview here. So nothing overly too complicated, something your client is going to love and uh, a little bit of the brightness as well. Let's start! So I've got the tip prepared for you in here and we can start those beautiful tool design. It will be a kind of a little bit 3D kind of mosaic look and I'm sure you will really love it. We are going to buff the tip and our next step is to grab some oil design gel. And I will show you two different designs, one pretty easy and the other one a little bit more complicated. So. I'm just going to take my D-liner brush, pick up the foil design gel, and now we are going to paint the design. So the idea about the design is to create lots of different cracks on it. Pretty small ones, so nothing overly too thick. Make them really kind of wavy. And now we are just making those cracks smaller and smaller so we can fill it up with some 3D look. Don't make the line work too small. Nice wee shapes. I love foil design gel. Because it gives so many fantastic ideas. So I'm just checking if any lines are too thin. If I feel they are too thin, I'm just going to add a little bit more. But you don't want them to be too small. It's funny because I was um, struggling sometimes with the thin lines as well. And with this brush, like I find it, I have to go over it a second time to make the lines thicker because they are too thin. <laughs> Perfect. So the first uh, first job is done. Okay, I'm just going to maybe keep it on the side, and then on this one, let's paint something else. Maybe a flower. A nice middle. And the flower. So 
I'm painting five petals flower. Now I'm going to work on this line work, just so I've got some amount of the product. And also you can change the shape of the petals a little bit if you need it as well. Sometimes we, we're not able to squeeze in four petals, I think this um, five petals, uh, so we end up with the four petal flowers. So I find it like if I kind of paint carefully first, then I can either make them smaller. So to see this one I'm making smaller because I'm outlining inside just so it's more in proportion with the other petals. And the other ones I was painting outside. Now we need some leaves. And another one. So keep the shapes simple, really. And more leaves here. That will do. Okay, after we have painted this part, I'm going to put my lamp into the slow settings. So 30 seconds cure into the slow settings. Put the first one in, take my transfer foil, cut a nice decent piece, 30 seconds on the slow settings. You cannot over cure this gel, this is not going to work then. Switch the lamp. Cut another piece for the other one. And we're going to fill up those beautiful mosaic design. So I've got my foil in between the fingers. And now search one place where you going to which you're going to touch first. Lift it up. Go to another place. So only do as much as your finger can hold at the one time, because you've got only one goal to transfer the foil. Hold it, hold it. The heat heats up the gel from the finger and you get a better results. I have discovered it the other day as well. So just hold it nice, fill it out. Hold it, fill it out. When you're happy with it, you are going to pop it inside the lamp for a couple seconds. Actually, I'm just going to cure my second tip as well. So 30 seconds cure the flower one. And on my mixing palette, I'm going to prepare some nice colors. So all sort of nice, beautiful colors. I'm also watching my time because I really don't want to over cure it. So I'm at 23 seconds. That's me. Ah, stop it. Okay. And now I'm taking the flower one. I'm just going to transfer the foil again. I'm taking a fresh piece. I don't want to risk it. Um, that's it is not going to work because I will touch the place which I have already transferred. Hold it, hold it. My tip is moving, so I might get the disaster, but move my finger. That's it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, lift it. And the missing place on the side. 
the only thing is like remember you've got only one go to go at it the second ones are not as nice so this attempt is not going to be as nice in the corner there not nice at all actually it did work not too bad i'm just searching i've got one more missing bit here at the end and that's me all covered so again inside the lamp just a couple seconds our next step is to apply the so uh, the top coat over it i'm just applying a top coat over it because we want to have those 3d look into that like a mosaic 3d look kind of style top coat on the flower if it's needed and you have touched something with the foil, you can just clean it. So apply the top coat on the entire tip, put inside the lamp. And now if I would use the gel polish on its own, my design could come off. So I've got two options. One option is I could use the, so, um, the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. With it and that will give us almost kind of like a glass look hmm that sounds interesting i have discovered another thing i might maybe try it or i could use paint on french gel to mix with my gel polishes so if i mix my gel po uh, gel with the paint on french gel then it will be a safe to do it with the top coat so when my design cure we can move on into next step Okay, so I'm just also going to, don't lose the time, I'm going to mix my paint on French gel. And the paint on French gel is not going to come off. I think I also like the fact that they are really nice pastel colors once we do that. And you need to have more paint on French gel than the gel polish in your mixture. So really the gel polish is just to give you a color. And maybe purple as well. Okay, I'm sorted with my colors and now we can start painting the design so this design is done like the same way and it's safe to do the dishes no bother let's go with the yellow first so I'm painting on top of the top coat and this way I get those 3d look because we are not going to top coat it again I have top coated only the foil because foil needs to be top coated otherwise it will come off as like a chrome i suggest you kind of take a one color first and you you do as many colors as many parts with this color as you like Actually, rainbow design would look awesome too. Okay, so that's enough of the yellow. I'm going to flash cure it. And since I've got the yellow on my brush, I'm going to paint the middle of this flower into this beautiful yellow and cook it as well clean my brush move on into the next color so let's go maybe orange now nice 
nice orange color. What I'm doing is I'm filling out all side lines first and then just color that way. Another thing is like if you would put the gel polish too thick, uh, once you would cure it, it will wrinkle. Took it. I'm not going to use orange. Uh, for the flower, we will go pink. So I've got my beautiful pink. And we're going to paint those petals pink. And this petal pink. Now it doesn't make sense because we've got five petal flower. No, it does make sense. No, it doesn't. I wanted to do two different colors. I'm not going to do that. So my pink is almost finished. I need to don't do that as your good brush. <laughs> I need to make some fresh pink. She did listen to me. She didn't put the brush in there. actually quite like they are different shades of pink I think cook it inside the lamp now we can move on into pink here and I want the pink here Very therapeutic design. Where else we want some pink? We need to find some room for the green, so that will be probably good for the green. So, pink here. And maybe the last pink here. Because I want a pretty decent amount of the pink. Now, on the flower, we need to go for some green. So I've got my green in here. It's so beautiful. And on the top as well. Of course, you could go over it with the top coat. If you don't have the paint on paint on gels, uh, you could paint it with the normal gel polish and then add the layer of the top coat to create like a kind of liquid stone look as well. I have done it many times uh, with the glitter. Green. Green. Where is yellow? Green. And green. So I'm trying to place my green close to yellow just so it goes together. I can quickly clean my brush and move on into the blue. So the blue. No, yes, no, yes. I should put the purple there because it would go. No, I don't do it because purple will go there. Purple, so blue here. Mm. 
then if the purple is here so the blue needs to go there and the rest the empty ones are going to be purple it's so beautiful and this one okay double cure so i'm just going to put it back to the lamp clean my brush and we are going to fill up the last uh, parts with our purple That's the last part. And give it a double cure as well. That looks so awesome. I have done si oh, I've got an empty one. I have done similar designs, uh, but I was top coating those um, mosaic thing, and I quite like it. This is raised a little bit, so it's slightly kind of like a three D look. Now, after we have finished uh, this step, we need to take a UV cleanser because the gel polish gives a little bit of inhibition layer to it and just clean it. And that's the finished look. So it has those kind of slightly a 3D touch to it. And that's what I like about it. And the gold looks so nice uh, as well. And with this technique, like when you're mixing the paint on French, you could easily there is tutorial on those nails as well, like but you could easily paint any kind of wee flowers and squiggles. And this one is almost cured as well, and I can show you the final look too. I might actually do one more, so we've got three uh, for the set, but I'll do it on my own and then just take a picture of it just to give you another idea. And let's check, so it's like a wee mosaic kind of design. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to this channel and tune in here. If you're existing one, hit the uh, notification bell. Glittery hacks. Bye!